Amidst the risk that has become the ritual, every evening at seven around New York City, as we show our thanks and owe our lives to them. For all our medical providers, the nurses and doctors, the service workers and caregivers, there's another category we recognize now, the mothers on the front lines. Kiss. I'm Melissa Lieber, and I work in emergency medicine at Mount Sinai. So I'm on my way to another shift in the ER, and I just wanted to point out that now, since the coronavirus pandemic, I try to bring with me the bare minimum to the ER, so that way I'm bringing home less stuff that could possibly be covered in coronavirus. Dr. Lieber has been an emergency room doctor in New York City for eight years but nothing has compared to the last eight weeks. It was in March. All of a sudden, we had one and two and three and four patients coming into the ER with the same diagnosis. Everyone's recalling cases and recounting cases and saying, have you seen this? Have you seen that? And that's when I think I started to get really scared. This is the first time in the 10 plus years that I've been practicing that I ever thought that my life or my family's life was in danger. All right, everyone have a good night. You too. I love you. Come on, come on, come on. A mother of two children under five, Dr. Lieber has continued her shifts in the ER through the pandemic while weighing the risks for her own family. What is my role in taking care of this? Am I just one physician and one person who's going to be able to cure every patient coming in? No. So should I prioritize my kids and my husband or prioritize my patients and my job? I think there was never going to be a question in my mind that I wasn't going to keep working. It really is shocking every night when we would go out at 7 o'clock, even for just two minutes. At first, it felt silly. It's like, well, we're no ones. We're just doctors. You know, of course, we're working hard, but so is everyone else. The applause conjures a specific echo for Lieber, a college softball player who spent years cheering one New York Yankee above all others. He was a leader on the field and off the field. He trained harder than so many other athletes to be where he was, and I love that. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if this is real. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Dr. Lieber, how are you? I'm OK. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. First of all, I wanted to be one of the first to reach out and say happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm crying, but thank you. As an athlete, the word hero is thrown around quite a bit. But the true heroes are people like you on the front line and what you do every day. You know, risking your personal health and, and the health of those you love the most for the good of others is something that is pretty remarkable. Um, thank you. Thank you for inspiring young athletes, inspiring me as an athlete, and um, I think much of my generation, or our generation, you Thanks know. Thanks for clearing that up. My generation, then you said our generation. <laughs> Hoping to meet you in person at some point. I so. would love that. Love it. Once you have a little bit of time, and you, um, you know, bring your kids, bring your family, maybe come down here to Miami, or we'll do it up in New York. Anywhere. I'll come anywhere. <laughs> All right, my you. pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone should have told me that so I could be prepared with questions. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.